Welcome to another question of the week with me, Leon Bartok, where I help you put more fish on the bank. We're going to be talking about atmospheric pressure, highs, the lows, how it affects the fish, and what rigs we should use in the different conditions. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. If it's the first time you've come across this channel and you like this type of videos and you want to see more of this type of videos, then it may be worth you hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon you'll never miss an uploaded video. Well, pressure, we see it banded about, we see it in our normal daily television, where the weatherman says there's a low pressure coming in or it's very high pressure over the weekend. But how does it affect our fishing? Well, first of all, to me, high pressure is anything above 1,010 millibars. Lower pressure or falling pressure is anything below 1,010 millibars. In this country, we normally get anything from about 980, which is very rare, up to about 1,040, which is very rare as well. So you've got about a 60 millibar difference. How does this affect the fish and our fishing? Now, a carp has got a swim bladder, and if you could imagine, the lower the pressure, the lower the force on the water that the fish is swimming in. So it's gonna feel a lot more comfortable. The higher the pressure, the higher the force on the fish's swim bladder, it's gonna feel less uncomfortable. How this affects a fish also depends on the depth of the water. So if you've got a relatively shallow lake, anything below about four or five feet, then that, those high pressure, more force on a fish's swim bladder, it's not gonna affect it as much. If you've got a lake which is 20 foot deep, then the higher the pressure, say 1,030, more pressure onto that water column, more pressure onto that fish's swim bladder, it's gonna make it less comfortable the deeper the fish goes. So if you look at it this way, if you've got very high pressure and it's a very deep lake, the fish are gonna to tend to come up in the water more. If you've got a high pressure on a shallow lake, it's not gonna bother them as much. If you've got low pressure on a deep lake, the fish are gonna feel just as comfortable the bottom of the lake as they do on the top of the lake because the pressure on the fishy swim bladder is not as great thus making it feel more comfortable to use all of the lake. So how do we apply this into our fishing? General rule of thumb, which I use, is if the pressure's over 1,010 and I'm fishing a deep lake, zigs would be the way to go, because the fish are gonna spend more of their time in the upper layers. If it's 1,010 or below and I'm fishing a deep lake, I tend to fish on the bottom of the lake or near the bottom of the lake with a pop-up or a bottom bait rig so the fish are going to feel more comfortable to move about in that deeper water column. Also what you'll see is that 99% of the time, not always the same, but if you get a low pressure coming in, it's going to be windy, it's going to be overcast, it's going to be wet, so you can tell that that's a low pressure. Alternatively, if you've got high, high pressure, it's normally associated with either cold nights in the winter, clear nights, or bright sunny days in the summer or the winter. So you can sort of tell by not even having to look at your phone if you've got high pressure or low pressure and use the corresponding tactics of fishing for those pressures. So there you go, there's a sort of general rule that I use. If there's high pressure, if you're fishing a deep lake, then I would tend to fish high up in the water, either on a gravel bar or using zigs. If I'm fishing a deep lake with low pressure, I tend to fish on the bottom it's more easier for the fish to move about without affecting the pressure on their swim bladder. If you're fishing shallow lakes, I don't think it really makes that much difference. Well, I hope that's helped you. I hope that's given you a general idea of the different pressures, how it affects the fish, how I go about my fishing, depending on that pressure. Don't forget, guys, if you like this type of videos and you want to see more of this type of videos, it may be worth you hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. See you for the next video.